running from all things at once without thinking twice and i knew it would catch up and that we would be the ones left behind the stories i've been told they never see This road that I am on, I gotta stay here. Somehow made it through without losing sight mm -hmm. And I still wonder where you are And if you found a way out from the dark mm -hmm. The stories I've been told They never seem to leave my mind mm -hmm. And this road that I am on Gotta stay here for some time mm -hmm. And they go And we have to try and keep up Cause this life's so lovely viewers welcome back to another episode on mom through lens the first part of the video was all about the process involved before organizing your wardrobe though closet organization will always be an ongoing process there are certain things that needs to be taken care of to have a mess free wardrobe going forward be it the dimensions of organizers or space planning or on deciding the materials that you want to go for a lot goes beforehand to achieve a well organized space speaking of materials i opted for cloth organizers and basically i have ordered three different sized organizers of varied quantities you can play around with plastic or natural baskets too
I know my bed is going to turn into a massive fabric mountain, but that's the way we declutter, isn't it? Taking out everything will help you to have a clear picture to work around. Ruhi, help me. Okay, keep it on the bed. Not a good thing. Ah, cleaning, the most important task, isn't it? Acha, tell me in my comment box who all are like me who tend to keep things under paper and forget. I know most of you must be doing that. That's when cleaning comes to rescue. Seeing the small piece of paper lying alone, abandoned, suddenly becomes sakho ka tara. and memories of argument suddenly plays in a flashback isn't it <laughs> anyways the point is pull out anything else that's still lingering inside dive in to give your closet a proper deep clean wipe down the shelves scrub any scuff marks and your closet is good to go My wardrobe recently has started showing minor seepage problems so investing on a natural organizer was not a go for me that's the reason why I went for these cloth organizers IKEA has a wide range of organizers to take care of your chaotic things that are not in place make sure you invest in right one beat your jewelry or bathroom organizers or toys they have solutions for everything I was waiting for them to deliver in Bangalore and the day I knew my first order was placed with these beauties. <laughs> the fun part is the assembly and with the assembling we are making life together. I must say every day in this apartment is a gift for my family not because how it is perfectly organized I mean yeah I am proud of how it turned out from a blank canvas into a beautiful one but what I am really grateful for is being with the people who matter the most have a whole big walk-in closet then i think it's a blessing but for now i have to work around this wardrobe which is shared by my husband and me left one is my side and the right side is his we don't keep our furnishings or night dresses in this wardrobe they have separate address and we will go through them too in the near future i need to work around with the space i have i have designed the interior layout to suit my requirements That's why I have installed a hanging space for my sarees. You need to figure out the best features of your closet, whether it's your vertical space or it's your built-in shelves. The areas that are not in your reach, what should go in there? How feasible it is to use? All these factors come into play while organizing the layout of your closet. Everyone stresses this enough and I agree too but this phase makes my heart shrink I mean every cloth has a memory attached to it or has been gifted by someone if it's not in the vicinity of your eyes I'm sure you will forget those moments <laughs> Okay let's not be emotional and be practical I have tossed the cloths that I don't fit in or that are in bad shape This 
is something I love to work around. Some go by colors, but choosing color over category can turn out difficult when you use stacking method. If you have hanging space, it's good to go by colors as they result in visual appeal. So I have ordered 5 quantities of stuck with compartments organizer sized 20 by 51 by 18 centimeters which will be holding like items together. These will be used to hold my t-shirts, shorts, tank tops, jeans and pants which I have arranged in a way where some are stacked and some are rolled up. Now moving on to the stuck with compartments size 34 by 51 by 18 centimeters. It will be used to hold my shirts, umbrella tops in one and dresses along with polyester tops are arranged on the other one. As of now, I am arranging them vertically and horizontally. We'll fold it using Conmary method as and when time permits. Now using my stuck storage case sized 34, 51, 28 cm will hold my ethnic wares. One will have all the suit sets and the other will have my single kurtis and leggings arranged in it. Scarf storage box with many compartments is used to hold my stalls or scarves, belts and accessories. Just look at the way they hold the stuffs in an organized manner. And yeah, the color coordination is also making the difference. The last one job to tackle is to label the boxes so that you just need to grab the box, pull out the required attire and keep them back in their respective place. I am in love with the way these organizers have tackled all my clothes neatly. They look cohesive, easy to pull, light to handle, well labeled and so very functional. The top shelf holds the boxes where I have placed my not so frequently used clothes and an empty one that can be used to store the new bees in future. Second one has the suit sets and the jeans. The saris didn't need an organizer as it's already hanged perfectly. Fourth one holds the kurtis and t-shirts. And the last one holds the dresses and other tops. Jackets and all are in the right hand side of the wardrobe. We will peep in that too but it will take time. Do let me know your thoughts in the comment box and that's a wrap on this vlog. Happy waiting. Meet you soon. Stay safe. Much love. Bye.